I have a confession to make. I spent my 20s trading in guitars under $300. I would play one for a few weeks, and I would decide I needed something better, and then I would trade it for something else, and I just kept going over and over and looking for something better and something better. And finally, uh, I bought a nice guitar, and I was content for a long time. Then I got this wild hair that I wanted to experiment with some different styles. Uh, and so I started looking around. I found this. This is the nicest guitar under $300 that I've ever played. Uh, and maybe even under $500. Uh, Cause I tell you, I have played uh, the baby or the big baby Taylor. Um, that was nice, kind of thin. Uh, but nice. I think all ta tailors are a little thin sounding. They're not quite to my uh, liking. Uh, I've played the Martin X series. They're ch cheaper uh, line of guitars and this beats them all. Uh, I absolutely love it. This is a Mitchell. Uh, it's a T333 CE BST. Uh, it's part of their new Terra series. I'm not sponsored by these people in any way, though if they want to send me some, I'd be glad to play them. Uh, but I absolutely love this thing, the feel of it. Uh, I mean, I don't know what neck style you like, but this, it, it feels a lot like a Telecaster neck. I mean, just light and fast. There's, there's, it gets wider down here. There's, there's room. Uh, you can get to all the frets with the cutaway. Uh, I was able to set this up with a low enough action that it feels like an electric. I feel like I'm playing an electric guitar whenever I, I play this. Now, because I've got it set so low, uh, I get a little bit of buzzing down here, uh, but that's to be understandable at this price point. You're going to get something that's not quite right at this price point. The quality control is is not there uh, with guitars in this price point. But wow, uh, I mean the playability, the feel. Uh, I got this for playing fingerstyle guitar for uh, playing intricate patterns that are hard to to play on a traditional dreadnought. And I was able to get the action so low that it fit what I was trying to do perfectly. But I can also play other things as well. Absolutely love this guitar and the look of it it's uh it's mahogany uh, it's got a satin finish and what that what that does the theory is it gives you a little bit more resonance uh throughout the guitar because you don't have such a thick layer of finish so this is an open pour finish uh it's got just a beautiful deep dark tone there uh and the edges are just great. You've got this, this binding that, that kind of blends in, but you definitely can tell it's there. Uh, you've got uh, some mother of pearl around the sound hole here. It's a little broken into pieces, uh, but it's mother of pearl, and it has a nice look to it. Right out of the box, I had to adjust the action. Uh, I think with any guitar in this price point, if you're not purchasing it from a local store where they set up all their guitars before they sell them, you definitely need a setup. For, uh, for any guitar you buy, you really need a setup. And so if that's not something that you're willing to do yourself, uh, then you're going to have to spend a little more money. But you can look up how to do it. Uh, it's, it's pretty simple just to uh, use the tool that comes with it and uh, there the truss rod is uh, is underneath and you can tighten that a little bit and that's going to lower your action uh, you can mess up a guitar if you don't know what you're doing or if you go at it uh, a little too aggressively uh, so i would recommend leaving it to the professionals or taking some time to learn uh, how to do it properly but uh, under three hundred dollars 
something that sounds like this. Uh, I looked for a long time before I found this. Now I haven't played every guitar under $300 that's out there, but this is the best one that I've found. So uh, if, if you want to hear it in action, I'm going to play a few riffs here. You can hear a couple songs, uh, demos that I've recorded of original songs that I'll put in the description, or you can subscribe to this channel and uh, and you can see some of those. I'm going to be using this guitar. I bought it uh, to play fingerstyle, but also to have a nice campfire guitar. I'm finding uh, <laughs> that's a good excuse for me uh, to just buy something else, right? Oh, I'm needed as a campfire guitar. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't play around the campfire uh, more than once or twice a year. So yeah, it's really just a cover story. Uh, but uh, it was money well spent. So if you're brand new to guitar, uh, this is an excellent starting point. Uh, it's easy to play. You get a really good sound. You got you got Fishman Electronics. You got a tuner that's built into it, uh, so you can uh, tune on the fly. Uh, you got a decent piezo sound plugged in. Uh, I don't think any acoustic guitar sounds great plugged in. I run all mine through uh, the Fishman RS Spectrum, uh, the direct input that there, and it's an imaging system that makes it sound a lot more natural, uh, but that's another 300 bucks. But anyway, this will get the job done if you have a PA or an amp that you're trying to play through, uh, but it sounds really good just mic'd, uh, so, or just playing around the campfire. So let's take a listen uh, as to what this sounds like. There you have it. It may not be the best $300 guitar on the market, but it's the best one I've found. It's definitely worth adding to your collection. So keep playing.